there, there are a lot of things that you spoke about that I want to comment on. One of the first comments you made when you came on is about legacy, right? And I think a lot of people forget that their 20 year old body is the same body that they're going to have when they're 80. It may not look the same, but it's the same body. So we do all these things to our body, whether it's putting a ton of sugar or just eating terribly or not getting enough sleep, not realizing or remembering it's the same body that you're going to have when you're 80. You don't get a new body when you're 50. You don't get a new body when you're 70. So we need to take care of this temple that we received. Then you started talking about spiritual things. For me, I am a hardcore believer and I don't do the one foot in, one foot out. If I'm going to be in the word, I need to get everything that the word says. So if the Bible talks about renewing my health and my spirit and my body as eagles, then I need to, to tack on to that promise. But I know that there's a part for me to play too, right? I can't drink soda or go to McDonald's every day and expect that those promises are going to come true because that's foolishness and it's presumptions, right? So we can't trick God. Um, you also talked a lot about limiting beliefs and framing. All of this is just mindset. It's really just how, it's stories we tell ourselves, right? So if we're telling ourselves that we cannot have something or we're not good enough or we don't deserve something, then that's the story we're feeding ourselves and that's the story that's going to play out. But once we change the narrative and say, no, I deserve to be healthy, I deserve the best. Or once we even frame why we're doing it, I remember when I had my second child, um, they told me that I had gestational diabetes and I'm like, I'm going to eat healthy because you know what? Another woman is not going to be dancing with my son during his wedding because I didn't eat healthy and then died too young. I'm going to be the one dancing with my son during the mother son dance, right? So even something thinking about what it is that I want for my future, thinking about, I want to be able to run after my kids and not be out of breath. I want to be able to go up the stairs and not be panting like I just did a marathon. So even these small things, these small shifts in our mental state will help us and just reframing the story. And I truly do believe that age is a number because I've met women who are older than I am chronologically and they are so fit, they're so young mentally, they're so light-spirited. Please go ahead. Makes sense. And I think one of the things we do is we're the ones who put limitations on ourselves. If you think about children, the reason they don't have a lot of fear, like they'll go on the roller coaster, they'll jump off things. It's not because they're, they're foolish. It's because they don't have the same level of learned fear that we got over you know, time or environment or, or, or experience. I'll even <laughs> give you a, a quick story. My, my mother-in-law came to visit. So my kids were talking to their grandmother and they're just there and they're having fun. And they're playing and they're, you know, fooling around. And my four-year-old says to my mother-in-law, Grandma, can you do a handstand? And we all started laughing because, you know, in our head, we're thinking the 70-year-old woman is going to be on her head or on her hand doing a handstand. But it's not that it was a foolish question to him. In his head, there was no limitation. Why can't she do one? She's alive and she's breathing. Why can't she do one? Right. So everyone is laughing and we find it so funny because the imagery of like, OK, look at, you know, seven year old grandma doing the handstand. But we're the ones who put limitations on ourselves. A lot of children, the, when they start to become helpless or hopeless, is when other people keep telling them, can't, 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 you can't, you can't, you'll never. But they never came in with those limitations. So it's the same thing with us. If you want to be fabulous in, on, in a bikini at 75, then that's what you're going to do because you're not putting that limitation on yourself or saying, I'm too old for this or taking out what society tells you about yourself. You know, we're going to be those women who wink at things like, oh, really? Watch me, try me. Okay.